the crisis that we are in currently is the water crisis, right? And uh, I think all of us know for Bangalore, we are pumping water almost 100 kilometers away. It's not going to be sufficient. The current government is also talking about pumping additional water from 200 kilometers away. I think from Shimoga, from Sh uh, Sharavati uh, River or something like that. Many citizens and experts feel that this is not the way to go about it. It's mostly contractor driven projects. The city needs to be self-sustainable. The city needs to become uh, what several people call it as something called as a spawn city. City is made up of buildings, it's made up of uh, warehouses, it is made up of parks, it is made up of roads and whatnot. Every aspect of the city needs to have some element in it to absorb the water. Right? So we also need to revive existing lakes. You also spoke about creating additional plants. So we would like to hear your thoughts on how you would go about solving this particular problem. Especially when we have almost 10 parasitical bodies dealing with water, right? We have PWSSP, BPMP, Groundwater Authority, Lake Development Authority, Karnataka Tank Conservation Authority, Minor Irrigation Department, Watershed, I can keep going. <laughs> but what are your thoughts on how we can deal with this at a policy level? Sir? At the policy level, see, uh, you said that 10 agencies dealing with the that's a state level issue which happens. But nonetheless, an MP will have certain thing, uh, voice where he can be, I agree with you. 10 parallel agencies trying to do the same thing and uh, uh, red tape is in, sets in and so many things. Ideally, it should be simplified. And uh, that way, uh, if it's the state leadership and uh, if uh, our particular party is in power, definitely the MP can play, play a very important role in this. Uh, I, I can't promise that it will happen overnight, but the process can start. Okay, so to see, because anything in life is better when you are simplified, let it be your communication or whatever. Simplification uh, and uh, ease is very important. And having said so, I agree with you that it's Bangalore has become a concrete gender. See, and one more thing. We need to have a mass citizen movement also to people who if you just can't water issue, just can't be left to the government. Okay, there has to be a mass citizens movement. So we at the governmental level and at the local constituency level, these movements should start. Because uh, history proves water has been the reason for wars and civilization and all that and it's a, a scarcity of water has been a, throughout the history. So we should learn from history and at the same time. Use even for example when you are doing your projects, when your pathways and all that, use material with water during rain percolates and obviously your green cover, your lakes, you should get the natural process also picking in and you need to have your uh, RO plants or however you want to recycle water because this is, see, what urbanization is happening, this is happening at a pace we, we, will, we have never seen before. So definitely it should be, the government should be involved, the citizens should be involved and definitely you need to have a proactive member of parliament, member of assembly and the corporators. Sure sir, thank you for that question. Uh, the next question is very, very